What's up guys, Coach Sasha here, and it's been a while, but I'm back and I'm here to talk to you today about home workouts. So a lot of people that I've spoken to uh, think that because they can't currently get to the gym, they're un unable to get in an effective workout at home. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's simply not true. So everybody has their own body weight. There are tons of different body weight exercises that you can do and in order to get great results. You can also get yourself some resistance bands too. They, um, they're definitely helpful. And then, uh, of course, if you can get some other gym equipment like some dumbbells, they can also be used. So just to give you a bit of an example, um, if you're wondering how to actually incorporate home workouts, you don't really have to think too much differently to what you're actually doing at the gym. So uh, if you're looking at a full body workout, for example, you wanna make sure that you've got a exercise that uh, for both pushing and pulling with your lower body, pushing and pulling with your upper body, and then some abs and maybe some calves too. So um, there are a lot of different variations of pushing exercise with your lower body, starting off with squats, um, progressing to split squats, lunges, Bulgarian split squats, assisted pistol squats and pistol squats. When it comes to upper body pushing, you've got your push-ups, you've got incline decline push-ups, you've got pike push-ups, you've got handstand push-ups. When it comes to lower body pulling, you've got glute bridges, single leg glute bridges, elevated leg glute bridges. If you've got a stability ball at home, you can do hamstring curls on that. Uh, you can do single leg deadlifts. When it comes to upper body pulling, you can use your resistance bands or dumbbells. You can even do body weight rows using uh, your furniture, which I've done a video on previously. Uh, you can buy a cheap uh, pull-up bar that goes over your door frame to be able to do chin-ups and pull-ups at home. For when it comes to abs, there's tons of different abs exercises. And if you've got any sort of stairs, uh, a step in your home, of course you can train your calves using that as well. So. Um, basically not being able to the gym is, isn't an excuse not to continue your workouts at home. If you need any further guidance with your workouts, be sure to hit me up below this video.